Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to one of my videos. In this one, I want to talk to you guys about some things that stood out to me. Whether it be news, topics, or anything like that, check out the description. I'll leave a link to some of these stories. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I can make a separate video about it. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about were those leaks that came out about Redfall. And I thought they were pretty interesting. And no, I'm not talking about the screenshots. I understand that some people didn't like the way it looked or thought that that was the final product. Which, if you know alphas or anything like that, game development, that is not the final product, obviously. So I won't be talking about that. But there was some details released about the game itself and how it plays. So I'm hearing it's open world, kind of like Zelda. Breath of the Wild and I'm hearing that it plays like Borderlands or Destiny or something like that so maybe a, a bit of a looter shooter I thought it was interesting I'm still looking forward to the game I want to see how each character is different and what their abilities are and how the gameplay looks because the game overall that little teaser trailer that's not the final product but it is a good way to get me hyped and interested about a game so it looks fun it looks crazy I like that they have some action and some comedy and I like vampire stuff so I'm gonna keep my eye on it I don't mind the screenshots at all, so I'm still looking forward to the game regardless. Another kind of leak slash rumor thing is Quantic Dreams is working on Star Wars. Now, maybe you remember them from uh, Heavenly Rain. Was it Heavy Rain? Heavenly Sword? He Whoa, I'm getting my PlayStation games confused. But they did Beyond Two Souls. They did Detroit Become Human, which is awesome games. Very interesting, story-driven, deep storylines. So the rumor is that they're working on this Star Wars game for 18 months now. And hopefully there's something to look forward to there and have an awesome story-based Star Wars game with some controversial topics or anything like that. I think that would be more interesting than what we've already had with Star Wars, which is more action-adventure or a shooter or anything like that. Speaking of leaks slash rumors, I've been reading stuff about PlayStation coming back and doing a PlayStation experience, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And uh, rumors of them working on a Wipeout remake, which is Wipeout is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation forever now. I can't wait to see what they do with that, so I'm going to keep my ear to the ground on that one. Some Xbox news. Sea of Thieves Season 4 is coming out on the 23rd, and you're going to get Siren Strongholds, new ways to store your treasure underwater, and then access them when you're above water. New missions through the message in a bottle. New unlock commendations and cosmetics. So that should be really fun. I can't wait to play that with my friends. When it comes to Sea of Thieves, it's just a fun time with my friends and that's what I care about. I'm really happy they're still releasing content for this game in general. I love the fact that it keeps growing. The next Xbox news would be the Halo Infinite tech test that is happening this weekend. So I'm going to leave a link to the, the blog post because again, more details than what I'm going to give. But I'll tell you that the tech test starts on September 24 all the way through the 26th. So if you're interested in that, check out the times because they are releasing it in waves or in little blocks where you can't play the game the whole weekend like we all wish we could, but you have to play it whenever they unlock it. So you have to look for the time for you. So if you're still waiting for your email like me, keep refreshing or check the waypoint and see if you've been invited. They're also going to do another tech test two weeks from now or something. It's September 30th through October 3rd. All right, two more things. Uh, regarding the Xbox Series consoles and the PlayStation 5, supposedly they will be in stores really, really soon. I'll leave the link to that below because they're talking about it being in stores in Best Buy as early as next week. So that's really awesome if they have a whole bunch of consoles coming in where people can access. You guys have to keep an eye on that if you're interested in new consoles because you don't want people buying them and reselling them all over again. We don't we don't like that. We don't support that here. We don't like that shit. Hopefully everybody that wants to actually play these consoles instead of make money out of them gets the their hands on it in stores real soon. And the last bit of news I'll talk about is Nintendo Direct. We don't have a date as of this video, but I will, like I said, leave it in the links or in the pinned comment if there is a date for this. But I'm looking forward to seeing a new Nintendo Direct with some new information, some new trailers or anything like that. They are saying that it's going to be sometime this month before the Tokyo Game Show. So hopefully we get a release date for that and I'll be sharing it on Twitter as soon as I see it there and then update this video. All right, so I believe that's all the stuff I have to share with you all. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. If I missed anything, if you want me to go in more details about a certain topic, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.